afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the articulated tug barge system, Dirk S. Vanankavort, which is the tug at the back, and the south unloading barge, Michigan Trader, at the front, coming through the Duluth Ship Canal. An articulated tug barge system like this is uh, pretty common now on the lakes. Uh, what it basically means is the tug is connected to the barge at the back, but it can kind of move around with waves um, out in rough weather. So. Um, although it is hooked up to the barge, it can move around a little bit in the notch at the back. The self unloading barge, Michigan Trader, at the front though, was built in 2020 uh, by the uh, shipbuilding Pink and Terry Bay Shipbuilding uh, Company in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 740 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. Equipped with a bow thruster, she has uh, 25 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. The barge has a maximum carrying capacity of 39,600 tons. Above her deck is in front of the tug is a 265 foot self moving boom which allows her to load her own cargo without the aid of short side equipment. The tug Dirk has been incorporated at the back was built as the Joseph H. Thompson Jr. in 1990 by the Upper Lakes Towing Company in Marion, Marion at Wisconsin. She measures 146 feet in length, 38 feet in width, and 30 feet in depth on her own. She is powered by three 3,000 horsepower, 16-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, giving her a top speed of 12 knots or about 14 miles per hour. Together, the Dirk and Michigan Trader have a total length of 865 feet. Both are owned and operated by the Van Inkervoor Tug and Barge Company of Mescanaba, Michigan. The pair first visited the Twin Ports uh, back in on November 23rd, 2020, just a few years ago when it arrived and loaded iron repellents at the Canadian National Ore Dock in West Duluth. Virtually built to push the self-loading barge Joseph H. Thompson, the dirt was rebuilt by John John Shipbuilding and Repair in Erie, Pennsylvania in 2020 to push the new barge Michigan Trader. Estimated or established in 1967, the Van Tug and Barge Company is a pioneer in the use of Articulate tug barge systems on the Great Lakes. The company currently operates four such systems to carry iron ore pellets, limestone, other cargo across the lakes. The Durkas Van Inkavor, Michigan Trader, their the barge uh, specifically is carrying a cargo of limestone they loaded at Calcite, Michigan. Uh, and this is the pair's fifth visit to Duluth Superior this season. Once again, we have the Durkas Van Inkavor and Michigan Trader right through the Duluth Ship Canal. The pair has a total length of 865 feet. And the barge here has a uh, carry capacity of 39,600 tons. Both are operated by the Nickelbor Tug and Barge Company of Escanaba, Michigan. But once again, the pair is currently on their way in today with a load of limestone for the Sea Rice Coal Dock way up the river. They will then shift over to load iron pellets of Burlington Northern once they're done unloading there. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports.
regarding the Duluth ship canal is the heavy lift carrier, the Minerva Graf. The Minerva Graf was built in 2011 by the Shaozhong Shipbuilding Company of uh, Shaozhong, China. She measures 464 feet in length, 62 feet in width, and 38 feet in width. She is powered by a 7,300 horsepower six-cylinder Wartzilla diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 16 knots, or about 18 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 700 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The maneuver dodge has two hatches on her deck, which open into two cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 9,500 tons. Above her deck are three cranes capable of carrying 88 tons each, which allow her to unload or load heavy cargo like wind turbine blades, towers, or project equipment. She is owned and operated by the Schmiedhof Shipping Company of Amsterdam, Netherlands, and she is registered in the Netherlands too. The registered country isn't necessarily where the ship or crew are from, but whose laws the ship or crew follows. Operating around 50 multi-purpose ocean-going ships, 